Uh, you can see the bulldog-like strength of the Argentinian, the South Pole in red. Rabi going straight to the body of Palmetta with the left hook, despite being the taller man. It's very language, Rabi. Thoughtful boxer, but it he does sort of let the punches flow quite easily. It's an interesting matchup between them. the body well and because Palmetta has got his gloves eye protecting his head he is leaving the body there to be punched and that's one of the one of the, the great things we've noticed since the head guards have come off it would have been easy I suppose for boxers to go head hunting and I don't I think it must be the influence of WSB and Pro Box now as well but the amount of body punching we've seen added to the uh, the arsenal of these young and sometimes experienced boxers who are, are making the transition as well, having been to several world championships. It's been terrific to see. Yeah, it is good to see. And a lot of them were reluctant to throw body shots in the previous format because they didn't come for anything. But they have, you know, they're obviously capable of doing it because they've started doing it and a lot of them do it well. And amazingly, we've seen a couple of tall fighters in the last couple of days, haven't we? Like Rabi, boxing yeah. shorter men, still throwing good body shots. There you go again. Quite a bit of, quite a bit of support tonight, as there has been. The evening sessions have been uh, fairly well attended for the first rounds. Rabi's pretty much dominating this open round. Goes up a court there. That was a cracker. Well, that forced Palmetto back onto his heels briefly. Good jab as well from Rabi. Which is good to see against the southpaw opponents and it landed clean. Stop, stop, stop. to the body as well. Who's the WSB Boxer of the Year for the recent series, Rabi? What a run it was, and no surprise that he caught the attention of the online pullers and voted him the top man in 2015. So, good round, I think, for, for Rabi to kick things off. Yeah. He had things pretty much his own way in that round and just dominated. Into round two then. Mohamed Ravi, tall Moroccan boxer in the blue. Oh, that's a terrific right hand. into it a little bit with his own way. Good footwear from Palmetto, but Rabi put him off and got his own shots off. Yeah, 100 plus bouts for the man from Buenos Aires from the KO gym in Argentina's big city. What? Comes into this one in real form too. He won a couple of medals in the American Confederation and Pan American Games early on this year. Good work there from Rabi just stepped to this to his right. Well, as Palmetto's left came in and just countered with it. Either his timing is excellent or he's got a good punch because 
when he's landed a couple, that was a really short one, wasn't it? But the right hand at the start of the round, he really did rock Palmetto back on his heels. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely got a bit of power. But Palmetto, he's no slouch. But Rabi's taking charge of each round as the bigger man. And it's different division, but he, he's a bit like Lopez, the, the Cuban. He stays in, in range, just a bit of head movement, a bit of upper body to, yeah. you know, he's, he pretty much stands his ground. Yeah, really interesting does. style to watch. Yeah. Doesn't jump around on his feet much. He's just in range most of the time. Fourth goal by Palmetto, good left hand, but he, he's always got an answer. Every time Palmetto does a little bit of good work, Rabi replies with something as good or if not better. And the weight of punch always seems to be with the Moroccan. It's been a good response from Palmetto. Yeah, most definitely has. a good little piece of defensive wear from Palmetto, but the referee thought of the way. Here we go then into the third and final round. Alberto Palmetto, the Argentinian in red, up against Morocco's Mohamed Rabi. WSB Boxer of the Year in 2015 and national champion all the way through the ranks, from junior to youth and now to the seniors. And he's got his eye on potential world championship gold, the number two seed in this division. Really is some accolade to be given to WSB Boxer of the Year. Some excellent fighters in there. Here, intriguing mass match up him against Joshua Kelly. That's the way the draw pans out. If, and if Rabi secures his slot. It will be an interesting one. To... It just shows you the luck of the draw because Kelly against Stanionis, which is the other sort of side of this quarter of the draw, he would have fancied Kelly to, to beat Stanionis. Oh, yeah. A tougher assignment against this guy. Yeah, this is tough air, but Kelly's definitely got something, so he'll be going in there believing in himself. Rabi really does look the part, doesn't he? And the good thing is, actually, oh, big right hand there from Rabi. Rabi stays pretty much in range. He's good, but Kelly won't have to go looking for him. Yeah, which he did in the previous bout. Definitely won't have to go looking for Rabi. Probably going to meet in centre ring, and there's going to be some terrific exchanges in that one. Yeah, I think that'll be a great matchup. I think it'll suit both boxers, the, the style. Still got a minute though, let's not be counting any chickens just yet. You've got a tough Argentinian in the shape of Palmetto looking to find an answer to this tricky puzzle in front of him. Well, Palmetto really has given a good account of himself against a much taller opponent and someone who's probably got a little bit more power than himself. So he's done everything possible to try and make it work for himself. He just come up a little bit short. Inside the final 30 seconds, Rabi has been to junior, youth and senior world championships. And he's never got beyond the second round in any of those. Looks like he's going to create his own bit of personal history here. left hand there from Rabi. He's got a lovely style to watch. Crowd pleasing. No such surprise in ring A though. The number two seed, Rabi, is through.
And for the first time in his career, he's into a World Championships quarterfinal.